Greetings! This is Jeff and I'm going to talk to you about how to use layers in UDoodle. This tutorial is going to be about 10 minutes long, so please bear with me. There's so much to go over, but there's a lot of power here that UDoodle can give you. To access layers, tap the Layers button, which is second from the right on the bottom. I'm going to start discussing inserting images into the foreground. I'm going to go ahead and insert three smiley faces. Now these emoji are from the backgrounds pack in UDoodle. You'll notice that I tapped that image button there on the bottom middle. That lets me insert multiple images at a time. And let's go ahead and add the third one. How about this crazy one? Great. So you can see that I'm able to drag these three images around, rotate them by tapping and holding the rotate icon, and I can scale them as well by tapping and holding the scale icon. Now an advanced user, you can single tap and release the rotate icon to get some perspective rotations. And you can single tap the scale icon to scale him just a little bit at a time, or to skew the image and make it look funny. I think I'll leave him like that. I kind of like that. Let's discuss this three dots icon, which is kind of the more stuff icon. There's a pixel perfect movement option. So tap that once to move one pixel, or tap and hold to move very slowly. Great for those of you who want a very precise position for your images. There's also an option to send them to the bottom of the pile. There's an option to edit the image, so you can rotate the image, flip it, or even run filters on it. I like the swirl filter, that should look pretty funny. So now you've got a very nice swirled, funny looking image there. To bring them back to the top of the pile, just kind of drag them a little bit and he'll jump to the top. I'm going to go ahead and tap done here because I think that looks very nice. And let's go over some more options for layers. I should probably start by discussing this layers button in the bottom right. So this is a way to view the foreground and background together. You can see that my smileys are on a transparent foreground and that my background is completely green. There's two options in the top right there that let you edit the background. The first one I'll talk about is the swap option. This brings the background to the foreground and puts the foreground on the background. This is great if you need to make a couple of touch-ups to your background. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to use the eraser tool to punch a hole in my image here. So you'll notice that I can see through it now and I can see those smileys which are now on the background. Let's go back to the Layers button again and put that foreground back to the background. So now we're kind of back where we started except that our background has a hole in it. And I'll show you how that can be useful now by using the Top option, which is also up there in the top right. This lets you put your background on top of the foreground but leaving the foreground as it is because the drawing tools always work on the foreground. So let's tap done here. You'll notice that the background is now on top, but the foreground still has the same image on it. So if I go ahead and draw, you'll notice that I'm drawing underneath the background here. So this is one way to put a border on your image. If you don't want to accidentally draw over the border, this is one way to do that. If I go back to the layers tool again, you can see the, the foreground has the full drawing on it, but when you put the background on top of it, you can only see some of that pink stuff that I drew. Okay, let's put these guys back to where they were in the beginning. Tap done. Now you can see all of that pink stuff again. Great. Let's discuss merging. Merging to the foreground takes the foreground and background, combines them together, and moves all of it to just the foreground, leaving the background transparent. So let's do that now. Now that I've merged to the foreground, I'll use the Layers tool again, and you can see that my foreground has everything on it, and the background is transparent. 
I'll go ahead and move the foreground back to the top again so it's not confusing. Okay, let's discuss merging to the background. If I tap this and merge to background, that'll clear up my foreground and put everything on the background. So let's look at that. You can see that now my foreground is transparent and everything is on the background. A couple of uses for that. If you want to make a background and for an image and you create it in UDoodle and you're happy with it, you can then merge it to the background and then you can put some inserted images in on the foreground to make a nice collage or other kind of image where you need a background. I'm going to discuss masking to the foreground now. Masking to the foreground is very useful with the text tool, so I'm going to type in some text. I've already got the word, ma the mask, the word mask here. So I'm going to put this over the top of my smiley face. In fact, I should probably make it black. Okay, so I'm going to tap done. Now I'm going to use this mask to foreground option. What this does is it takes the entire background and copies it to the foreground, but only for pixels that are not transparent. If you look at the foreground, most of it's transparent except for the word mask. So when I use this mask to foreground option, you'll notice that my text kind of disappears there. And that's because in that area, the background got copied to the foreground. You can kind of see some of that smiley face on top of, uh, as a texture on my text. So some of you may like to put your images on text. That's a great way to do that. So once you've done that, you can use this last option, which is the change background option. Usually after you've done a mask, you want to make your background probably transparent. And now you've got just the text there with the mask from the background. I think that covers it for layers. There's a lot of capability here, a lot of features. Please watch the tutorial again if it went too fast. And good luck. Please email support at udoodle.net if you have any questions. Thank you.